It is great to be on this platform again. Today we shall be discussing rocks formation. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to define rocks, listen and explain different types of rocks with their characteristics, explain the economic importance of rocks. Rocks, a rock is a considerable mass of one or more minerals. Rock is the aggregate of a mineral. Types of rocks. Rocks are classified into three groups according to their mode of formation. We have igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. Rocks differ from one another in the following ways. Number one, texture. They differ by structure, color, permeability, mode of occurrence, and the degree of resistance to denudation. Formation of igneous rock. Igneous rocks are formed by the cooling and subsequent solidification of molten material called magma. Magma is forced towards the earth surface as a result of high pressure and temperature. Magma cools and solidifies to form igneous rock. Types of igneous rocks. We have the plutonic or intrusive igneous rock. Then we have the volcanic or extrusive igneous rock. Now, characteristics of this rock. We'll start with the plutonic igneous rock. That is the intrusive. It cools slowly. It has coarse texture. It is later exposed to the surface as a result of prolonged erosion. Example, we have the granite, diorite, and gabbro. And what are the characteristics of volcanic igneous rock? Those are the extrusive igneous rock. Magma cools suddenly, unlike the plutonic, that the magma cools slowly. For volcanic, the magma cools suddenly. It is extruded to the surface by volcanic action. It is fine-grained. Example, we have the basalt. We have basalt, pumice, and obsidian. Mode of formation of sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are formed from sediment deposited either by water, wind, or ice. These sediments are accumulated in layers or strata. When we're talking about, yeah, from the word layers, we'll be able to know what strata are. They become hardened by compression after a long time. The plane between two strata is called bedding plane. Types of sedimentary rocks. We have mechanically formed sedimentary rock, organically formed sedimentary rock, and chemically formed sedimentary rock. Let's look at the characteristics of sedimentary rocks. They occur in strata. Rocks are coarse in texture. They contain fossils of plants and animals. They are soft. They react with weak acid, for example, hydrogen chloride, dilute hydrogen chloride, limestone, chert, aquas, shell, sandstone, conglomerate. These are examples of sedimentary rocks. Mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. What are the characteristics of these rocks? These are formed from sediment of rocks. For example, the sandstone, brazier, shale, clear conglomerate. These are examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Organically formed sedimentary rocks. 
These are formed from the remains of living organisms. It is called calcareous rock if it is formed from the remains of animals like fish shell, e.g. limestone and chalk. And organically formed sedimentary rock can also be called carbonaceous rock if it is formed from the remains of vegetable matter such as forests and trees, e.g. coal, peat, lignite and petroleum. Organically from sedimentary rocks, this is an example, we have peat, lignite, bituminous coal, and anthracite. Chemically formed sedimentary rocks. These rocks are precipitated chemically from rock solutions. For example, we have the dolomite, gypsum, and sodium chloride. Sodium chloride here can also be considered as a rock salt. Formation of metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed by the marked transformation of igneous and sedimentary rock under influence of heat and pressure. Example of such rock, we have the genesis formed from granite, marble formed from limestone, slate formed from clay, and quartzite formed from sandstone. Then we have the seas formed from shale. We have the graphite formed from coal. Characteristics of metamorphic rocks. Some may occur in layers or strata. They exist in different colors and textures. They may contain fossil. They are non-crystalline in structure. The rock may be hard or massive. economic importance of rocks in agriculture. Rocks can be used in formation of soil. Rock can serve as sources of plant nutrients. Rocks can be used for construction purposes. Rocks can be used for erosion control. Rocks can also serve as obstacles to farm implements. Rocks can be used for shaping of farm tools. Rocks can also be used for breaking of hard objects. Let's take example of palm kernel. If a farmer, maybe someone that deals with palm kernels, want to break it, he can make use of stones to break palm kernel seeds. Now, useful of useful as feed additives, e.g., the salt lake. Revision questions: Number one, what is a rock? Number two, explain formation of the following rocks. Metamorphic rock, igneous rock, sedimentary rock. Number three, list four characteristics for each of the following. Metamorphic rock, igneous rock, and then sedimentary rock. If you find it difficult to answer these revision questions, go over the video again and you'll get it right. Thank you for being on this platform today.